So without further ado, it is my pleasure to uh, introduce and welcome Dr. Fauci. So without further ado, it is my pleasure to uh, introduce and welcome Dr. Fauci for his last uh, his last run at the podium. The lawyer is Dr. Fauci. I'll let other people judge the value or not of my accomplishments, but what I would like people to remember about what I've done is that. All praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Yahweh Yahweh be the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shah be the name of His only begotten Son, who they evenly called Jesus Christ. Now, this Fauci character is so called stepping down, or this is his last uh, time at the podium. Now, look at the timing of this situation. Uh, you got December the 13th is when they're trying to bring in their CBC, uh, what is it called? Um, Central Bank uh, Digital Currency. So you got this one. He's stepping down or whatever. And these people... They just doing stuff at at times that make the operation look obvious. But then you got January, uh, where they talking about um not putting people in jail in certain cities. And you got um these new uh, diseases popping up all over the place. And it's winter time. You see, when people start worrying about viruses and diseases, this is when, this is the time he chose to step down. Mind you, he making more money than the president. So it's, it's very um, suspect on what he's doing. Now, Revelation 18.23 lets you know um, the agenda of these people. The last sentence of 23 is, saying, For your merchants were the great men of the earth, for by their sorceries were all nations deceived. And that sorceries goes into witchcraft or it goes into former former um pharmacia. And pharmacia can go go to um distributing drugs or so called medicine. And so the scriptures say that these great men, these pharmaceutical companies, see, who's creating these um, so-called medicines, they're going to deceive people. What are they going to do to deceive these people? That's the question. And so that's one thing. Then you got the people that trust their enemies. It says... Ecclesiastes 12 and 10. Never trust your enemy, for like as iron rust, so is his wickedness. Verse 11, it says, Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take he good heed and beware of him. See, take good heed and beware of him. What is these people up to? What are they doing? What are they planning to do? Now, Yahweh told us at the end of the world, it would be something that was be going on. He told us that these dragons would be up to something. Look at verse 21. Uh, he says, For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. Now, we know this going back to, uh, this is going back to the Jacob's trouble. 
because that world is not always talking about the whole earth and everybody in the earth. This world is mainly talking about Jacob. See, and look at verse 22. It say, and except those days shall be shortened, there shall, there shall no flesh be saved. What is going on with the flesh? No flesh of the Israelites will be saved. The Lord got to stop the time because these people are going to do something amazing where the Israelites would be exterminated if he didn't crack the sky. It says, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So the elect of the nation of Israel, they got to be protected by the Most High because these dragons, these rich men, these great men, these pharmaceutical companies, because that's what that sorcery, uh, the Greek word for the sorceries, go back into former kill. See, these former, these pharmaceutical uh, companies is going to be doing something. Be deceiving people. That's what they say. They're they going to deceive people, these pharmaceutical companies, because a merchant is nothing but a company. See, because they have a corporation. A merchant has a corporation nowadays. He just don't stand on the side of the uh, street with his merchandise. See, he just don't stand in the middle of the road with his merchandise, uh, like a lady, like a Mexican with some oranges in a in a in a uh, bag. See, they set up shop. They get an address. They get a license, and they turn it into a corporation, an LLC. You see, so these corporations, these pharmaceutical company, they're gonna be deceiving people. How are they gonna deceive people? And how is it going to get to the point where the Israelites, no flesh is going to be saved and the Lord got to come and save these people? See, how is it going to get to that point? Now it says, verse 20, it says, But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter. What's going to go down in the winter? He connected the winter to the situation. Neither on the Sabbath day. In the winter on the Sabbath day. What is going to be going on? Why is he bringing up winter time and the Sabbath day? You see? And he added that into when the Israelites got to be rescued and saved. From these dragons that's going to bring trouble their way. Let's get Daniel. Daniel chapter 12. It says, At that time shall Michael stand up the great prince, which standeth for the children of your people. And there shall be a time of trouble for your people, Daniel, from the tribe of Judah, such as never was since there was a nation, see, that's what that world was talking about, the Israelites, man. There was a nation even to that same time. See, we wasn't talking about the whole world and all the nations and families. It was talking about the, Daniel's people, who was the Israelites, as a nation. It says, at that time, your people shall be delivered. Why are they going to be delivered? Because... These other people going to try to kill them. They're going to try to exterminate them. They're going to do something that's going to bring trouble to their uh, life. He got to rescue them. They got to, Michael got to come rescue these people, man. What is what are these people going to try to do? Well, Michael got to crack the sky and come save them. See? And we already know that most of them worship the devil, see. Most of them worship these dragons. Let's get that. 2 Thessalonians. Uh, 2 Thessalonians. Verse 4, it says, Who opposed and exalted himself 
above all that is called God or that is worship. See, he done raised himself up above everything that is worship. Follow the science and my research and my data. It need to be trusted. See, look at Revelation 13 and 15. What is that worship? It says, verse 15, well, I could even do 14, say, and deceive them that dwell upon the earth by means of those miracles. See, what kind of miracle is these people going to be doing? That they're going to deceive somebody with a miracle. See, it's going to be a miracle to the, the people that's being deceived. But it ain't going to be a miracle, see. And look at what how he, they worded in, in verse 15, saying, He gave power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and call that as many as would not worship. So he going to get these people to worship him because of the miracles he bringing, and they going to be deceived because his miracles is just a, a, a way to deceive they behind. What is he going to be doing? That's the whole question. What is he going to be doing uh, to deceive these people? What kind of miracle he coming with? That God got to crack the sky to save them from this so-called miracle. To save them from this deception. Now look at uh, Revelation 16. Because it talks about something now. It says uh, in verse 2. It says, And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth, and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon men which had the mark of the beast. What is this grievous sore? See, what is these people going to be coming with that the God got to crack the sky and save them? See, what is this grievous sore, this noisome and grievous sore that's going to come upon these men, these Israelites? See, that God got to crack the sky, or all of them going to get this grievous sore. All of them ain't going to be able to make it. See, in this time of trouble, what is these dragons going to be doing? Because you, they got a lot going on at the same time. A lot going on at the same time. And when you ride through their society, Babylon the Great, it is looking a hot mess. You got people on the corner, homeless, drugged, at, drugged out. You got everything going down. And these people are hitting the road. A lot of the um, CEOs is, is quitting or retiring and all this crap. See, when people buying bunkers and hiding under the ground, what is these people doing? Now, let's go ahead and get that. Why is you running? Where are you going? Verse, uh, f uh, let me get to the point. Verse... 15, it say the kings of the earth and the great men. I go to great men again. So the great men going to be deceiving people. But while he deceiving people to the point where God got to come save them, he doing this. The great king, the king of the earth, the great men, the rich men, the chief captain, the mighty men, and every bond man and free man hid themselves in the den of the rocks and the mountains. And said unto the rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. Now, what is they hiding from? So not only is you finna do something that God got to come save these people, you running around here hiding. So you, you, you trying to kill these people and deceive them and kill them some kind of way, or and, 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 and you hiding. That's like you go set a bomb and got a timer going that's going to blow up something. And then you go jump on a plane and you fly off uh, and go hide in a whole nother country. 
or in a whole nother place thousands of miles away from the bomb that you don't set. This how these people are moving. You see. But you know, they got a gag order on what you can say. So we just have to ask questions. Because this was Luke 12 and 2. For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed. Neither hid that shall not be known. So they can hide, run and hide all they want after they done set up all kind of situations that God got to come save people from. See, because the, 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 the rich, it's clear that the rich man doing it. And he didn't say religious because, see, they go to talking about Babylon. They go to talking about religion. No, they said great men going to be trying to do something. And they're going to deceive all nations. Then the great men going to hide. What you hiding from? See? So the situation is clear. Now, look at what they hiding from, too. In the midst of all this, this is going to be going on. It says... And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown, and full storehouses shall suddenly be, be found empty. And the trumpet shall give a sound, which every man heareth. They shall be suddenly afraid, and at that time shall friends fight one another, fight against another like enemies. So this is what, the, that's why these, these jokers, another reason they're going to go hide, and they preparing uh, their dens, meaning their bunkers, because they got they got something planned to get rid of people, and they going to hide from the situation. Now they can just shut the government down and go run into their bunker, and all chaos uh, happen in the streets. Because now you don't got the uh, the food situation ain't being monitored. And regulated by a government. And people do whatever the heck they want to do. Uh, that can transpire. Now, at the same time, the, the food might can't make it to the store because these people planning on doing something that's going to make that, make that a hard situation. Just like when they had this so-called uh, first problem that was going around. And they shut everything down and told people to stay in their house. And the delivery services started going prospering because people was told not to go to the store at a certain time. So that could start the situation off. But these people are up to something. And we already know the devil. Look at the verse, um, was it 670? Uh, 70, yeah, but 68. <clears throat> it says, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you, being idle, with things offered to idols. Verse 7, it says, For there shall be in every place in the next city a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. So not only is these people planning something, they going to straight up attack, man. Look at verse 71. It says, They shall be like mad men, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. See, verse 72. For they shall wait, waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen. So these people are planning to come after the Israelites, man. That's what they planning. And they got all kind of ways they're going to try to do it. And they can try to blame it on all kind of other stuff. See, because they're going to blame it on, probably blame it on one thing. And then the Israelites ain't going to trust they stinking behind. Because it's right here in verse uh, where is it? Verse 69. And they that consent unto them. 
shall be had in derision. Those that consent unto the people, whatever they're going to be pushing, the one that consent, they're going to be the one that's deceived by this miracle. Because, see, they're going to come with a miracle. That's that they're going to take some people and uh, feed them to idols or whatever this idol thing is. This idol is going to be what this miracle thing is. All that's going into the same situation. It's a miracle. It's a uh, idol that people is looking looking up to. That's supposed to supposed to save them from something. You see, but it's gonna be some people that ain't gonna consent, and then they're they gonna come after these people. See, but we finna find out. And then you you got Revelation thirteen, straight up telling you that. Uh, they're going to push something even more than that where you can't even go in the store. So what in the world is going on with these people? It's looking like they ready to attack. But they're going to have to set the situation up. Let's get that in uh, Revelation 12 and 10. It said, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation, strength in the kingdom of our God and the power of his Amashiach. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. So he going to be accusing these people that ain't going to consent to his thinking behind. See, consent to his fake miracle, consent to his fake solution. To whatever the heck he got going on and what he deceiving people with, see, they not going to consent to it. But he going to accuse the brethren and say, these people is doing wrong. We need to go and grab them and attack them and have a great insurrection on their behind. See, that's what's going on, man. The situation is clear. Prophecy ain't hard. See, you, you just got to look at the story and, and, and uh, look at where it's going. But anyhow, I'm going to leave it there. All praise to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, by Hashem, Kakadash, the ones to the elders pushing the truth, peace of the elect worldwide. Our kingdom is at hand. Shalom.